My farts were smelling terrible this morning. Oh, jeez. Show <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number seven or eight, eight of the PCT. Right now, we're in Lone Pine, California, waiting for a ride to get back up to Kearsarge Pass. And this one's gonna be a freaking banger. God, I sound like such an idiot when I say shit like that. <laughs> Cause we got six days worth of food. For some of you, that's probably nothing, but I've never carried this much food before. Our packs are fully loaded. Look at this. Here's Brandon's pack. This is Flossie and I. I've got the chips back there. <laughs> Push it to the limit. That's what we're doing. So you gotta subscribe. I wanna get to 40,000 subscribers before this PCT hike is over. Subscribe to the channel because we're carrying all the way to Mammoth Lakes, six days. It's gonna suck for the first couple, but once we eat the food, it's gonna get sick. Welcome to Mather Pass. Yeah, buddy. How was that? Dude. Let's get it. It was amazing. It's so nice up here. This is awesome. I don't know what the elevation is, but Flossie does. It's uh, 12,094 feet. Nice. It's pretty high. I think this is the first pass. I guess when we were on Forester, there was nobody up there, but we kind of blew right over the top. Awesome. So feels like we're on the moon. All right. Today was a ripper. Man, I barely even filmed anything this afternoon. We did like 26 miles, two 12,000 foot passes in one day. It was a tough day. Ate some good food tonight. Well, not good food, it was trail food, so it actually sucked ass, but ate it, got the calories in, and uh, probably gonna do like another 25 tomorrow because we kind of got to rip it because long food carry. Got to get it done. We might get to Mammoth on the 4th of July, which might sound fun, but now I'm worried that everything's gonna be closed. So those are the things on Kyle's mind tonight. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you in the morning. You goddamn lucky son of a bitch. God, I sound like such an idiot when I say shit like that. Hold that top. All right, getting ready to move. I am banged up after yesterday, man. 26 miles of hard hiking, nearly 6,000 feet of elevation gain. Dude, I'm just not used to carrying this much food. Like my pack is so heavy. I'm not even gonna show you guys my hips and my shoulders because they are bruised as fuck. It's disgusting and very painful, but that's the way it goes. We're through hiking. Today we're going over Muir Pass, so we only have to do one pass today instead of two. That's an aggressive smear right there. But I don't think today's gonna be quite as difficult, plus we've got a day less of food on our backs now. It's still gonna be a tough day. We've still got four full days until we get to Mammoth Lakes for our next resupply. It's just so crazy, because like on the AT, the 100 mile wilderness in Maine is literally the only place that I can remember where I had to carry more than four days worth of food, and even then it was only like four and a half. Like it really wasn't that bad, but out here, <laughs> Our last food carry was five days and now we're doing six days. It's just insane. I hope we don't have to do too many more of these long food carries because it kills my fucking back, my shoulders and my hips and it's not comfortable. It is what it is. I'm gonna finish the sunscreen and I'm gonna start hiking. Woo. It 
just gets sweeter and sweeter every day up here, man. Huge lake, almost at the top of Muir Pass. Muir Pass, baby. <laughs> Gotcha. First forward of the PCT right here. Of course, we're only a mile from camp. <laughs> you might want to go another way. Yeah? yeah it gets she's... pretty deep there? Yeah, she's about balls deep. Oh, geez. What about over here? My feet are dry. And now here we go. Ooh. Doesn't that look delicious, everybody? It looks like someone took a shit on a tortilla and now I'm about to eat it. Any parting thoughts for the day, Flossie? I thought today was a better day than the previous day. That we call it yesterday. <laughs> I just felt better. Felt like I was more acclimated. The ears had popped yesterday and Mirror Pass was pretty sick. Anything to say, Brandon? Ready for tomorrow. Today was a good day. And with that, good night, folks. Good morning, everybody. Do I have sunscreen on my face? I got some something right there. I look like shit. I probably have a bunch of shit on my face, but we're doing another 26 mile day today. That means that'll be three 26 mile days in a row, but it's got to be done. Uh, I'm feeling a little sluggish this morning, but that's all right. What else do I want to say? My farts were smelling terrible this morning but I just dug a cat hole, so that should, that should be taken care of. Three 26 mile days in a row, boys! Dinner has been consumed, chores are done, and it's kind of bright and uncomfortable. Dude, look at me. I look like a through hiker. Hell yeah. We're gonna do another 25 mile day tomorrow, probably. <laughs> and I'm gonna sleep good tonight. So, good night, everybody. Morning, everybody. My feet are sore as shit today. Not like my injury that I had at the beginning of the hike, but just like general soreness on my feet. And we gotta do 26 or 25 more miles today. Got about 5,400 feet in climbing today, so it's probably gonna be a pretty tough day. But we won't have much food left on our backs, so the packs will be lighter to make everything a little bit easier. I'm having three instant coffees this morning. I usually just have two, but Going to town tomorrow, and I got enough left for tomorrow morning, so I got an extra one today. Woohoo! I'm gonna be so caffeinated. I'm gonna be too caffeinated. Is that a thing? Can you be too caffeinated? Not out here, you can't. <sighs> Don't look at my nuts. You're gonna love my nuts. Doesn't that look good? You can't even see it, but basically, it's instant coffee, and it's not that good. So, I think it might be time for some new trekking poles. Look at the tips on these. <laughs> <laughs> Those tips have just ceased to exist basically. And to be clear, it's not Cascade Mountains fault. I mean, I've put close to 900 miles on these things and they're relatively inexpensive to begin with. Everything else about them is holding up great actually. It's just time for a new pair. I'm hoping I can pick some up in Mammoth Lakes. All right, so going along the trail here and I ran into a gentleman named Russell Korfman. Do you have a, do you have a trail name? Well, he wants me <laughs> to be at any rate. At any rate. Um, <laughs> This gentleman right here was one of the first guests I ever had on Trail Tales. He was a supporter uh, long before anybody cared about my content. And so Russell, I genuinely appreciate that. You were there basically from day one. Yeah. And was... uh, don't leave me hanging, come on. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe I'll take all this, no, just kidding. I'm not gonna take it back. So dude, I, I really appreciate it. No, just... it was a good time for me because I had just gotten off the PCT too, so. 
It's yeah. fun to talk trail. Yeah, it's 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 cool to see you. We we were yeah. thinking we were gonna run into each other because he's doing the JMT Southbound, and here we are. Yeah. We are at camp, another 25 point something mile day in the books. How do I look? Oh my God. I don't care how I look because we just did a hundred freaking miles in four days. That's the most I've ever done in four days. Feet are hurting, not like injured hurting, just like a hundred miles in four days kind of hurting, but it's all good. We're gonna camp tonight and then tomorrow we only have about four miles to get to Mammoth Lakes. So we're gonna take a Nero. We got a room booked at the Quality Inn that has a hot tub and a jacuzzi and a continental breakfast, which can you picture me at a continental breakfast right now? Just fucking up some waffles. <laughs> yeah, I look like a madman, but it's all good. Speaking of food, it's time for dinner. I don't know if you're gonna get to see it though, cause I gotta go over there to cook it and I don't feel like bringing this. So I guess that means good night. Good night. Good morning, folks. See that ice inside my Sawyer? Yeah, that's not something you want to see at all because that means it froze, which means it won't work anymore, which sucks. God damn it. Fortunately for me, I only have four miles before town and I have a little bit of water filter already from last night. I can go buy a new filter today, but if I had been in the middle of like a stretch, you know, two days into a five day resupply, then I would have been screwed, man. So that was pretty stupid. I almost thought about sleeping with the Sawyer last night just to prevent it from freezing, but I honestly didn't think it would get that cold last night. It's freezing out right now. So stupid me, bonehead move, probably just cost me about 40 bucks because I got to buy a new one now. But oh well, it's a town day, let's go. A little chilly, huh? Yeah, probably coldest morning we've had. All right, Flossie, explain to the good people where we are and what just happened. Well, we're in beautiful Mammoth Lakes. For the past couple days, Old Phoenix here has been scheming up a way to get two continental breakfasts from the Quality Inn. This morning, we hiked into Red's Meadow. We thought we were gonna have to take a bus, which cost 15 bucks. We ended up getting a ride from a nice gentleman named Keith, so that was free. Then we ended up getting to the Quality Inn. They held our packs for us. They also let us get our free continental breakfast. So we'll have a breakfast today and tomorrow morning. Anyways, we just stroked 100 miles <laughs> in four days, baby. The trail needed some stroking and we stroked it. Stroked, stroked it to the east, stroked it to the west. <laughs> Did I mention that we got to Mammoth on the 4th of July? <laughs> What a way to end the video, huh? This is pretty cool. Happy 4th of July, everybody. This is gonna come out like weeks after the 4th of July, but we didn't plan this. We just happened to be in Mammoth the exact day that it was the 4th of July. Pretty cool. Fun day. We're about to do laundry. I'm chilling in the in the towel there. Don't get too excited, all right? But that means that you guys should go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash kylehatesiking if you want to help support this content. Also, check out this bruise. That's from all the food we had to carry on this section. You're supporting the content, the work that goes into making these videos happen. You're not supporting the hike. I'm not asking you to fund my vacation, but if you wanna go above and beyond, please check out patreon.com slash kylehatesiking and be sure to go subscribe to Luke, who is editing these videos. If you liked the edit on this video, which I'm sure you did, cause he's doing an awesome job, go check out Experience Over Things on YouTube. Go subscribe to his channel. Let's get him to a thousand subscribers. I think we can do that. Thank you guys for watching. 
Back on trail tomorrow, but we just ordered some Domino's, so I'm gonna enjoy it until then. Stroke it! Stroke it! Stroke it! <laughs>